Hello, this is Mike Sayers from Mechanical Simulation. This is part one of a series of videos on ADAS, that's Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. When we're talking about vehicle simulation, we're complicating things by bringing in other actors into the simulation. It's not just our vehicle with its controls that we're trying to simulate, but now we're trying to include others, such as traffic vehicles that we see in this video up here. Uh, car sim, truck sim, and bike sim have three libraries that are related to ADAS uh, setting things up. This video is going to look at the one called Multiple Moving Objects. What we're doing here is adding three moving objects to the simulation. We're telling them to follow the same path as the driver model, that's path ID DM, to be on the same road surface as the vehicle, that's current road ID. We've got different ways of locating them and specifying their motion. In this case, we're going to specify the speed, which means we have to tell where they start. Object 1 is going to go wherever the vehicle is at station plus 15 meters. The other two go start at 35 and 55 meters in front of it. We are linked to animation information here. Uh, the moving object is just a point in space that we are controlling. If we want to make it look like something in animations videos, we link to the same uh, library as we use for showing vehicles. We've got all the information for the sprung mass. We don't have information about a vehicle from the normal vehicle screen, so we put in what are the length, the height, the width that we want this uh, traffic object to be. And we also need to fake tires, so we put in an image of a blurred wheel in here. It's not a separate degree of freedom or anything, it's just to look right for the, uh, for the videos. And notice that for the speed, we set the speed of these three objects to be VX, which is the forward speed of our Ego vehicle. And this is what it looks like. Our Ego vehicle is here. We have object one, two, and three, all looking like traffic vehicles and all going at the same speed in the same lane as our Ego vehicle. We extend the concept to do three lanes. Here's the first one where we're going at the same speed. We make a second group. This has six vehicles in it. And it's the same setup that we had before, only this time the speed is uh, 0.95 times our speed. And we're specifying a lateral position using the uh, ID number for an LTARG data set. Up here we set LTARG so that for the group we were just looking at, it's at minus 3.5, which is a lane to the right of us. Down here we do another group where it's plus 3.5, that would be 3.5 meters to the left of us. And you can see from the comment down here that we're setting that to be 1.1 uh, times the Eagle vehicle speed. And here's the result. We have the sole lane at 0.95 times the speed, the fast line at 1.1 times our speed, and then the three cars that were in front of us originally. We're now going to look at an example which involves making a low speed turn. Uh, we're setting a speed control here that is using a table that has speed that will slow down for the moving objects as they go through the turn. Uh, they both have exactly the same shape, one's red and one's black, and what's different is that we have off-tracking enabled. The box is checked for both. A zero put in for the uh, red vehicle is turning it off. So we're going to see red without off-tracking, black with off-tracking. I'm showing this in very slow motion. You see that as they come close to the intersection, the brake light goes on for the red vehicle. It'll go on for the black vehicle too. That's automatic when there's a deceleration detected. Now watch the rear wheels of the red vehicle as it goes through. They're going to swing out because the vehicle is just rotating around a point. It's a very unnatural thing. Now look at the black vehicle. The rear wheels follow the front wheels. Uh, which is a natural off-tracking. And that's the same kind of thing that we see with our Ego vehicle with the full vehicle dynamics. And now we're going to take a look at another example which has a lot more traffic vehicles in it. We're reusing some of the data sets for the moving objects, so we're setting outside what is the lateral position of the vehicles in the multiple object screen, what is the path, and so on. That allows us to set up lots of traffic vehicles. They all have off-tracking. Here is the full vehicle dynamics with a trailer. And this really shows off-tracking and also shows that we have a real 3D curb there. For our last example, we'll be looking at 
the uh, extending the behavior of our moving objects to have even more physics. We'll control them by acceleration. So we basically have F equals MA physics in here. It's pretty simple but uh, effective. Up here we are using VS commands to specify uh, an error function for our acceleration control. Here is the error function when it's written into the echo file. In the animation we have a number of moving objects representing traffic vehicles. You see the brake lights come on and they decelerate and they pile up in a, uh, in a realistic fashion because they're using F equals MA physics in here. The other cars are waiting for the light to change and then they'll accelerate. So this is how we do multiple moving objects to represent traffic vehicles. Thank you for watching this video. You might want to watch the next in our series, which is ADAS Sensors and Signs.